Ah, oh, there you are. I was just saying I think we should practice the quiz at lunchtime. Uh, how do you practice a quiz? Uh, revised topics like need to come up. Capital cities, highest mountains, things like that. So we can split them up evenly between us. Sounds like a good plan. You're all going to be brilliant. I'm sorry you're not on the team. Look, it's probably for the best. Unless there's a question on Gregorian chants, I'd be pretty much useless. <laughs> Gregory who? Gregorian chant? Oh, it's a sacred song, sung in Latin. Uh, it's usually credited to Pope Gregory I, but... Uh... Thank you, Irene. Um, where's Ellen? I'm not sure. She finishes a lot, doesn't she? She just likes studying without distractions. Nobody studies that much. Ellen does. Perhaps that's what she wants us to think. Sometimes she has to feed the cat, too. Oh. What? I thought Matron told Ron to take him away. Ellen persuaded him to keep it hidden instead. She's been looking after it. Oh, she should have told us. We could have helped. I think she needed somewhere private she could have some time on her own. Just because she's got some cat hidden away doesn't mean she's not on the way to the jeweler right now, probably planning to bribe him to keep quiet about Gwen's brooch. I hope you're not suggesting Ellen is the thief. Things have only started going missing after she arrived. Coincidence? Yes, she is a good, honest person. Well, if it's not her, then it's somebody else from our dorm. And I don't think anybody else is capable of something like this. I'm not going to sit here listening to you pick on my friend. Jean, please. You can't go around throwing accusations like that. I want to find out who's been doing this. And I just want us to go back to the way we used to be. Picking on Ellen isn't helping anyone. Then let's work on this together, Daryl. We can find out what's really been happening. We can and we will, but right now we need to concentrate on the quiz to support the school. 